What's up guys? And as you can see right behind us, we have every single roll of toilet paper from the store. So today we're gonna be building a giant toilet paper fort, AKA toilet paper castle in our warehouse because we have so many supplies. And if you guys didn't see part one of this video, Andrew and I spent $5,000 on all of this toilet paper. And we have 5,000 square feet in our warehouse. Did you know our RV only cost 1,200? So this was like over double the cost of a, a functioning RV. Before we get all this toilet paper moved, we need to design something to figure out what we want this to look like. Quick, to the drawing board. This is the warehouse, okay? Yes, and these are the stairs. Dee, 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 dee. Right there. You think we should build it like maybe over by the Laugh Daily sign? It's Laugh Daily, okay? So we'll okay. build it there. It's yeah. Like the tallest towers on the sides with a fun, maybe like a garage that we can drive the toy car out of. Oh, go gotta have way. a garage. And then an entrance, a cool entrance in the front. That's like a, a cool gate. And we come in here and there's like different lounge rooms. <gasps> okay. No way. All right, build. Okay. Since we have so much toilet paper and we need to move all this toilet paper to that side of the room, I think. These toy cars will help load up all the toilet paper to make it less trips, right? Is this working idea? <laughs> all right. Load them up, Captain. Let's see how many more. Bye. Bye. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah. Check this out guys, I'm standing up and the fort is taller than me. Pretty good wall. Because this is ultra strong. <laughs> ah. Uh, nothing? Guys, we just had a really cool brain blast on how we can make this fort even better. I'm taking this piece of wood and then I'm gonna show you, okay? Okay. Follow me. So take these two down. Like this, okay? Okay. This, like this, okay? I see what you're doing. Ooh, this is gonna be This so is weird. brilliant. Okay, we got these guys. Perfect. Oh, no way. Guys, just look at this entrance. I'm so glad you thought of that idea. Dude. It looks like it's an actual, like, castle. You have to duck down to get in. You can Whoa. even create, like, a wall that comes down. How? We use the wood. I have an idea. <gasps> Intruder alert! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're trying to think of a cool way to make like a cool drop bridge door thing. So this is what I came up with. We got this rope here. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna make a six piece wall with the saran wrap. This is gonna be in the saran wrap. So when we pull the thing up, it'll look like this. Like, oh man. And then, and then it'll be the, like, ah! Okay? Okay. Yeah. Hey. Go wild, go crazy. We just finished, we think, the bridge door. We're ready for the beta test. Andrew, release the door. <laughs> that was a good open. Now, will it close is the question. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's too flimsy. Cool idea though, right? Yeah, really cool. <laughs> Upgraded wall complete. Andrew, give it a test. Oh, it's kind of working. Definitely better. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Castle wall door complete. You. <laughs> 
are just about finished, guys. We're just gathering a few essentials for a castle, and then we'll give you guys a full tour. Are you guys ready for the fort tour? I know I am. We've been building for a while, and we think it's done. You're probably wondering why we're in our vehicles. Oh, part of the tour. Go! Come on. For the first stop, the garage door. Time to open it so we can park in it. All right, sir, it is ready for you. Very good. All right, as you can see, it is a two car garage. Close it up. Perfect. All right. Now you guys are probably wondering, how do we get inside? It's through the garage door into the house, guys. Duh, the secret door. Yeah, come on. Here we go, guys. And it's actually a secret door, so you can uh, close it right back up and you're locked and loaded. Perfect. Well, to start it off, we have the toilet paper thrown. It is either a one person or two person throne just for relaxation while you're not being attacked by villains and you want to maybe chill out. And then next we have this room over here. It's just like a little inlet. You come on in, it's got a nice blanket. It's just sort of like a place to kind of relax, get away from anything, maybe do some reading, whatever is on your mind. It looks cozy too. Oh, it's super cozy. It's the safe zone. Don't even mess. Now to my personal favorite zone, the weapon arsenal blacksmith. Every good castle needs weapons, so we have the bow with the arrows, but also a new invention, toilet paper grenades. You let these things go, they're bound to uh, confuse and discombobulate the enemies. And last but not least, we got the Ladder of Elroy, which you can <laughs> up here. And you can see over the top and by, hey! Be able to spot enemies easy. So then you come back down and they're like, oh no, they're coming. <sighs> oh. Nothing's happening in this village. Where are all the enemies? It's been years since I've last been attacked. My only job is to defend the castle. I'm sick and tired of this castle. Today is the day that I take it over. Let's go. First things first. Ah, rotten egg attack. What was that? Guys, I think I hear somebody outside. Oh, 
shoot. Yes. Stand a level five hurricane. Oh no. Oh yeah. I don't know. It can easily withstand that. Are you kidding? Are you ready? Yeah. We have level one, then we have turbo, then we have whatever that does. Okay, okay let's see it. What side of wall do you win? I recommend the Charmin side. Out. Yeah, Hurricane is just a little slow though. It kind of like isn't that effective when you're in combat. Yeah, I guess. Well guys, that concludes the toilet paper castle. We basically used all the toilet paper. I know. There's a little bit left, right? Jim? Just a little. Just a little though. But if you enjoyed today's fort, be sure to smash the like button and leave a comment down below of what you guys want to see us do with the toilet paper since we have so much of it. There's probably a lot of ideas that we're not even thinking about that you guys will come up with with your grades. Yeah, you guys usually have a lot of good ideas. So leave your comments, we will be looking at them. And as always, follow us on Instagram because we post behind the scenes. We'll see you on the next episode. See the big sign? What's that big sign say? Laugh daily. Goodbye.